demonstrating how to set up Visual Basic for Applications with Excel 2007. The first thing we need to do is add a Developers tab, which will show up over here. We press the Office button, then Excel Options, and then we check Show Developer tab in the ribbon, and press OK. And now we have a developer tab. Uh, the next step is to set up the macro security. I click the developer tab and I get all these new great options. And the one we're going to do is macro security right here. We're going to click it. And right now it's set to enable all macros and it says not recommended, potentially dangerous. Uh, what you can do is if you want to be a little safer, you can click on disable all macros with notification and you'll get warned any time there's a macro in an Excel spreadsheet you open. Now just because there's a macro does not mean there's a virus or there's dangerous code. If you receive an Excel macro from someone else, you should always assume that there's a problem with it. And uh, I would always suggest opening it and checking it out before you run anything on it. If it's something from you or something you've created, you know that there's no dangerous code, hopefully and uh, this is the best option. In, in any case, when you open someone else's macro, I would hold down the shift key. Holding down the shift key prevents the macros from executing. Press OK here. The final thing we're going to do is add some icons to our quick access toolbar, which is up here, and I'm going to try to get them in between these two separators. And what we're going to add is we're going to add the some of the VBA stuff. The first one I'd like to add is design mode and we can right click over it and click add to quick access toolbar and it's over here. We're going to wind up moving that. The other one is this insert controls icon so we'll right click it add to quick access toolbar and that was added but you can't see it because I've run out of room on my toolbar and the final one is um, the properties right click it and you know we can also add view code okay so we have all those on my quick access toolbar so we're gonna bring up the quick access toolbar by right clicking over it and going to <coughs> customize quick access toolbar and we want to move these four up and I do that by clicking it and using this up arrow button you see it's moving up and we're going to get it between these two separators if you didn't have the separator you can get it from here and add it over there so I'm going to move up the other controls and I keep pressing and then the final one I press OK and we now have the toolbars, the, the buttons that I wanted and they're all right here.